Okay, uh, today we're going to learn how to take a regular MATLAB program and turn it into a GUI or turn it so that you can create a GUI interface for it. Okay, so uh, you can see I have a program right here. It's called Plot Damped E Field. <coughs> it generates a oscillate, a damped oscillating wave. Um, you can copy this program at your leisure. Uh, I have three variables, A, E0, and Lambda. My min and max and nx are going to be used to create my line space, which is my x-axis. I create um, another array called E, fill it with 200 zeros. Then down here I calculate, so I have um, 6.28, so I can turn it into a radian kind of thing. And then I do the calculation here. Uh, for each x, um, I create a, uh, f a I, I run this formula. So I create a, a, I create a y value for each of my x values. So I'll create 200 values, and I would put that into the E array. Then I plot, <clears throat> and I just uh, plot, and I send, uh, you know, my x-axis and my y-axis, and I create some very um, I create this size of my screen, so on and so forth. When you run this, you will get this. Okay? So all good. In fact, I'm going to dock this. So it's now in my workspace. Uh, all right. So what I want to do, though, is I want to turn this into a GUI so that I can manipulate these variables here on a screen. So, uh, I would go to Guide, and I've already created this, so I'm going to, it's going to be an existing. For you, you would create a new one, and s create a simple GUI like this. So, I have a slider, I have a static text, and I have an editing text box here, and I have a graph here. Uh, all you need to do, uh, starting with the skin, or yeah, starting with the static text, double click on it. Um, if it's if you want to have a larger font, you can. I think it was eight. I changed it to twelve, so it's easier to read. And down here under string, I clicked here, and then I said skin depth. Hit enter, and then put a in microns underneath it, and I get this for my slider bar. I um, simply go down, I, I give it the string slider, uh, I change the tag to depth slider, and I change my value down here to 3. So you can put 3 right there, and that's all you need for this. And then for my uh, edit text box, again I change the font to 12. Uh, I I want my string also to be three. So when I open this up, I I want it to also be on three. So I put that in there. I simply gave it the tag of depth text, and I believe that's all I had to do for that. And then finally for my graph, all I did was give it the tag of plot axes. Okay, and there's my GUI, and I would hit save, and I would call it damped e -field GUI dot fig, or I would just say damped e -field GUI. Um, MATLAB will put the fig file and the m file together, and when you do that, you would get this. And uh, so now what I want to do is I want to put a few modifications in here. Um, actually, I'm just going to leave this as it is for, uh, we're gonna, I have this created, this is great. What I wanna do now though is I wanna create <coughs> a function so that damped E field GUI will call this thing. 
So I come over here. Actually, what I did is I took, damped my regular program, and I did file save as, and then I saved it as dot, uh, plot damped E field F, meaning that I want to turn it into a function. I put this first line in here uh, in front of the other stuff. Function plot damped E field F handles, meaning now that it will take and receive handles. Then I went over to A, and I changed that. Instead of A equals 3, I said A equals get handles.depth slider value. So it's going to go to the GUI and find the value of depth slider. I didn't change the other two. I didn't change anything else, except when I come down here to the plot. I also want my uh, graph to go to the GUI, not create a separate window. So uh, I'm going to be using the term handles.plotaxes a bit. So I created a variable and just simply called it handles.plotaxes. And now I modify my other commands to put handles.plotaxes in front of that. So instead of uh, plot xe, it's plot handles.plotaxes XE. So now that result is going to go to the graph on my GUI. Same thing, I put hacks in front of all of the other stuff so that all of these things go to the graph on the GUI. And um, there we go. Now I'm going to, now this uh, function is going to be called, now let's, now we can talk about our GUI here. Uh, under the opening function, I put plot damped E field F handles, meaning now this is going to talk to this function. So these two now, these two functions are now going to start talking to each other. Um, this part here you have already done before. This is simply uh, getting the value from the slider and putting it on the text, and then putting, you know, vice versa. The only new thing we're going to do <coughs> is when we get this, then we're going to send that data to plot damped E field F. Okay, so that that gets updated. And then same thing with here with depth text. Again, these three you've done before. You're just simply getting the uh, string value of depth text, turning it into a number, and sending that number over to depth slider. And again, you're going to update plot damped E field F, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So now, if I run this program, I get this, okay? and if I adjust this value, this is my value of A, and you can see how I can change this around. And I can either do it from here, or I can do it from the slider bar, but again, you can see I'm adjusting the value of A from the slider. And that's pretty much how it, it is. Uh, as an exercise, you may want to adjust EO and Lambda and go back to the GUI, create some sliders and change these so that those can also be manipulated by your GUI. And that's pretty much how it is. So again, start off with a normal program, uh, create a GUI and um, then we're going to, from the GUI, we're going to create a function that the GUI calls, and that's where we do our manipulation. So, um, and, and again, that's where we do our handoffs, if you will, between this function and the GUI. And basically, that's pretty much it. And then this part here, again, you're, again, updating what you're doing First off, again, with the opening function, you have to put in the fact that plot damped E field F is now going to be updated. 
and you just modify this part again you've already done but once you're done you're going to update plot DMD field width with the information and that's all there is to it okay so hope this helps all right bye bye